Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. I'm sorry, I'm a bit discombobulated this morning. And uh, I don't know, sometimes that happens. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. I'm just gonna uh, make sure that I'm broadcasting where I want to. So I'll get all that set up so I can see all your comments. Okay, got that one. Hi Mo, how are you? I'm sorry I'm late. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, I'm live on YouTube, yay. Although someone told me the other day that um, they comment over there, but I can't see it. So <clears throat> my apologies for that. I'm gonna see if I can get that sorted. I think it's a YouTube thing. Anyway, I'm just going to make sure that you can hear my voice, although I'm sure someone would have told me by now if you cannot. I hope so. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Diane. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so I've got everybody. I think you'd tell me if you couldn't hear me. Welcome. Sorry I'm late. We're going to work with, let me grab my, here we go. We're going to work with lighting the way this morning. Thanks, Ellie. Um, I love this, and you might not have noticed it in the catalog. Good news is it's carrying forward to the 2023-2024 annual catalog, so yay on that. But it's not carrying forward as a bundle. It's carrying forward as a stamp set and dies. And so if you want to save 10% on it, you want to grab it uh, before uh, May 2nd. Hi, Melanie. Oh, welcome. Thanks for watching. Where are you from? Just maybe comment where you're from, Melanie. Anyway, um, the other fun thing about Lighting the Way is I am offering an online virtual class. So you can join from anywhere. The class is on May the 13th, which is, um, let's see, that would be a Saturday. Yeah. At 10 a.m. Pacific time. So the same time as we're broadcasting today, but just on a Saturday. If you live in Canada, you will get um, all the ingredients, consumable ingredients, to make four cards using the stamp set and dies. And um, you'll get a PDF, you'll join us live, we'll craft together. If you can't join live, that's okay because they're all recorded so you can come back later. And the class also includes the stamp set. So you're going to get the Lighting the Way stamp set. And then we have a special um, if you want the dies. Okay. Now, if you don't live in Canada, we can't offer that because that breaks the rules of Stampin' Up. However, you can still join by purchasing the PDF and you can cut all your own materials yourself and buy your products that you're going to need um, from yourself if you're a demonstrator or from your demonstrator in your country. And you can still join us live or on the recording. So um, all the links will be in my um, recording once I finish today. Okay. Um, Foam Lake, Saskatchewan. What a great name. Foam Lake. Love it. Um, oh, no, Judy. It's dreary now in Alberta. Well, the other day it was sunny. It is uh, dreary here, too, in Vancouver. Okay, you guys. Should we get started? Let's start stamping. So lighting the way, here we are. Okay. Love it. If you looked at this in the catalog, you might think, oh yeah, that's kind of neat. You know, those little lightning bugs or fireflies. I used to call them fireflies, but some people call them lightning bugs. You might think, oh yeah, those are cute. And, oh yeah, the grass. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. but the magic with this stamp set is in the dyes. So Here's the dies, except some of them are missing. So let me show you the ones that are missing. Check this out. Look at these. Look at this lantern. Isn't that awesome? So great for campers or anything like that. We've got our little bug that we're going to build. So it's really sweet. So sometimes you have to, I looked at it, I will confess. I looked at it in the catalog and I thought, oh, isn't that sweet? But flip, flip the page. Now I'm like loving it, loving it, loving it. And I'll show you some other samples when we're done. Okay. So let's start. I'm going to start with a card base. Let me just grab my bone folder here. I'm going to start with a card base of basic black. And it's cut eight and a half by five and a half. And then scored at four and a quarter. Okay. 
got to make sure that I'm staying within my, here we are, within my um, area that I want to stamp in. Sometimes it gets kind of skewy, but I'll keep checking to make sure I don't go out of focus there. And then I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight. Love Daffodil. Now it's cut four by five, sorry, five and a quarter by four. Okay, so that's just like a little layer that we've got on top. And then I'm going to use a piece of the, I'm looking for my marker here, a piece of balmy blue. Now this is not cut to a specific size. It's just a scrap that I had because I'm wanting to cut something out of another die set. And the die set we're using is called Scalloped Contour Dies. I love this stamp set. Those with there is a, sorry dies and stamp set there is a die a stamp set that goes with it but look at these fabulous frames so there's five all together grab this one I've taken one out oh, okay and um, we're going to be using one of them this one here let me grab it we're going to be using this one here so you can see they all nest within each other but they all have different edges which is really cool right and with the rectangle stitch dies retiring it pains me to say it these are a great alternative if you want to add a little uh, interest to your card with a rectangle okay all right uh anybody else join me uh, somebody from Camloops has joined me not sure who this is the thing about streaming services you, you get part of the information but not all of it and not all on my same devices <laughs> so thank you for joining me on Facebook all right Let's bring in our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're going to need plate number, oops, plate number three, plate number two. Put those on our platform there. We're going to need my balmy. Ooh, that's a bit too thick. Let me just, or why? Let me just trim that down a pitch. I try and um, use my mini as much as possible only because it fits on my desk and um, it's super fast to just grab but sometimes obviously if you have a larger die or a larger embossing folder you are going to have to use the regular size stamp and cut and emboss so let's put a plate number two on top of that and let's run that through okay oh good morning Jacqueline you're not late you're just on time. Glad you could come. So then we end up with this great piece that we're going to use. Now you can see that you've got that nice scallop, but you've also got a stitched on the inside, which is really great. I use this die quite a bit. All right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to grab a piece of scrap paper. Let's see here in my little bin here. Here we go. And I'm going to grab some, I'm going to lower that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I like to stamp there. So rather than keep moving my paper and making sure it's in, in the area, where, oops, turning. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So I'm going to be using a couple of colors. I'm going to start with crushed curry. And I want to stamp this. Now that could be a sun, but I want it to be um, where the lantern, the light from the lantern comes. So rather than guess, let me just grab my die. So I'm going to be using my die and I'm going to have it approximately there. And this is kind of where the sun would be. So just use a little pencil and mark that off. And then I'm going to grab my light and I'm going to stamp it in that crushed curry in the middle okay and now I'm going to work around that so I've got some blending brushes here and I've got a few colors let's start with balmy blue which is the color of the paper so let me grab all my blending brushes now, this isn't an exact science. Sometimes it works better for me than other times. It's just, you know, I'm just going to load up my brush 
with my balmy blue, but I am going to sort of start off because I find when I start, as soon as I put that down, I get a blob, which I don't really want. So I'm going to start off my paper and then go on. Okay, and you just keep adding color until you're happy with the um, hue of it. Is it dark enough for you? Um, if not, just keep adding more. So I'm not going to go over my little ray of light here because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to obliterate it. Jacqueline, are you looking forward to our lighting the way class? going to be so fun. We're going to be doing some blending on that in that class too. A little bit more um, involved than this card today, but it's going to be fun. Okay, so I've got the balmy blue and now I want to take Misty Moonlight. Now Misty Moonlight, if you're not a demonstrator, you're thinking that's an old color. It was a color back in the day maybe two or three years ago. You can see that even though this is a new stamp pad that I just got, it still has the in color insignia on it um, because they're using up um, their labels, which is fine with me, I don't care. And um, I love this color and it retired because it was in color and they're bringing it back. So we can use it, they're bringing it black. So yay. So it's a bit darker than the balmy blue, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is grab it and you can see, can you see the difference in the color there? That's quite a difference, right? But I wanted to do the edges. So again, starting off my paper and then I'm going on so I don't get those blobs. It's kind of the same way we used to do it with um, a, uh, Brayer. Do you guys remember brayering? I used to do a lot of brayering. So I'm just kind of going around the edge and still leaving the lighter color under. Okay, so just keep adding color until you're happy with it. And everybody will have a different idea of what's happy. And I do have night and 80. I'm not sure I want to do night and 80, but you know what? I'm going to see. I didn't do it on my original card because it's not that far off of um, the misty moonlight. But why don't we add a little bit just to the edges? Just to the edge. It's a very dark night at our campground. Okay. All right, so that's what we end up with, a very, and you can see why, you could use this as a moon, right, or a sun. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Thanks for coming today. All right, so now we've got that done. Let's cut out some bits. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to take that Night of Navy. I love this, this particular stamp, and here is my favorite. It's the little, it's the little, um, swarm of the little bugs. Isn't that cute? Because it's so like when you go camping, isn't it? So I'm just going to put that in my upper corner there. They're all flying there. All right. Let's set that aside. Now I've got some black. I want to cut out my lantern. But I want to add some gold highlights, so we're going to use some gold foil. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this out twice. In our class that we're doing, we are going to be using the gold foil in our class. And we just thought it added a lot of elegance and just kind of like a, an old-fashioned lantern, right, where you'd have brass on it. You know, like um, brass handles and whatnot. So we're going to run that through. And then I'm going to grab, poke that out of there. Which I need my, oh, I don't see my, take a pick. So that's okay. We're going to use, have you guys got your catalogs yet from your demonstrator? If you're, if you live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, please fill in my catalog form 
um, the link is where at the end of the video, you'll see it pop up to um, check out my classes and events. And on there are some links for, yes, I'd like a catalog, please. And also join my newsletter. Anybody's free to join my newsletter. So make sure you do that and join me. I'd love to have you. Okay, so let's put that aside. Any other questions? The gold foil will definitely make it. Yes, very authentic. Yeah. I We thought so too, um, Jacqueline. We thought, wow, what would look? Brass might have been good too. Copper, I guess. Never really thought about it. Just went with gold. Liked gold. So here are my two lanterns. Now, I want to grab my scissors paper snips and I want to use the outside of my lantern so this my handles okay but I want to have the rest be gold okay so all I'm going to do is cut off just go in here and you can sort of see where there's a little joint there so it's pretty simple to cut this off so we're just going to cut off those edges Come in here, come in here, here we go. And then we're gonna build our lantern like this. So you can see. Now I could cut off the cap, I suppose, um, but I don't think, um, I don't know if I should or not. My original card I did not, but I wonder if, let me just fold this down and see what that would look like. Actually, that might look pretty good. Let's do that. Let's amend our card. That's why I like stamping with you guys, because I make a card, and then I'm actually recreating it. I'm thinking, hmm. So there. So we've got kind of a the black top. So I think that looks authentic, right? Oh, they got the new catalog. So that's good, Mo. Yeah. Oh, you like the cap on there? <laughs> Too late, I cut it off. I'll show you the original one later, um, Jacqueline. Okay, so now we're just gonna glue this on. Yeah, my customers in Canada have um, started receiving theirs too. I'm glad yours have two more. And I always send one as a test to make sure. So I'm like, well, once I receive it, then I know they're receiving it. For those of you who are just joining me for the first time, I've got a newbie here. Uh, I use liquid glue, Tombow glue. So that's my go-to. I know a lot of people don't like it because they get, you know, it's, it's not that hard to use once you've practiced. And it's really affordable. Now, the price in the new catalog, you may have noticed, has gone up. It's still cheaper than other places I've checked. Still cheaper than Amazon, even with the new price. Um, so grab some if they're still available. They were getting on low inventory because everyone was like grabbing them up. Okay, so that's my lantern. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. We've got our, our lantern in our sky, our blue sky. Okay, I do notice because it's, it's going to bug me. Let's see if I've got my eraser. Um, what do you know? I've got my eraser. I'm gonna just take off that pencil mark. I'm actually going to add some Wink of Stella because it's sort of radiating out, right? And I'm gonna actually take it out even further than that little circle of light. Now, I could have, if I didn't want to have just a you know, kind of a blotch of color there. I could have used my blending brushes with the actual color and made it kind of radiate out. Maybe I'll do that next time. Okay, so that's how that's going to be. Before I stick it down, I'm going to add, I say with confidence, for those of you who are joining me the, for the first time, um, sometimes I kind of misplace stuff. And everything was here, and then it's disappeared. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. Black. So this is from the 
uh, it's not from the linen thread. It's from the Baker's Twine. There's all sorts of different colors. There's gray, there's black, there's white, there's vanilla. I've used, look how much I've used. I need to buy a new one. So I'm going to just grab a string here and I'm gonna thread that through. I could use gold, I suppose, but that would be a bit fancy for camping, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, so yesterday I was playing with one of the brand new stamp set bundles um, called Cheerful Daisies. And I had a goal to make at least 11 different cards because I need them for a class because it's going to be a class at our virtual lunch party. So it's another link. You can reserve your spot. And um, I finished them all yesterday. I was so proud of myself. I was like a machine uh, producing these. I actually think I ended up with 13 or 14 cards. But I lost one of the stamps. And as usual, I'm looking everywhere for it. So this morning I thought I'll have to look for that little teeny tiny stamp. Anyway, I picked up something this morning, like something really innocuous and turned it over and there was my stamp. So never give up. Sometimes it's good to just walk away, isn't it? <laughs> when you find it. So I'm just gonna use uh, dimensionals here. I think I think what I might do is actually put some on here. I don't always do that, but that's what keeping the edges are great for. Like, look at these edges. Like, they're perfect. I'm just going to cut along here. And that should be not too thick. Ooh, that was close call. I'm just going to put a little bit there and a little bit on the other side. Ooh. Probably would be fine without it, but there is no fancy in camping. No, there's not, Diane. I was watching, um, it's the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So my husband said to me yesterday, how many games did you watch? And I said, well, I watched two full games plus overtime. And then I did watch part of another game. He's like, how many periods was that? I'm like, I don't know, nine. Anyway, speaking of no fancy in camping, there's no cheerleaders in hockey. Come on. Like, really? Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cannot have that. I don't know about you guys, and, but I'm also pretty tired of all the gambling commercials. How about you guys? And it's not just one. It's like the whole game. That's all I ever see. Whatever happened, to, well, except for Tim Hortons. Whatever happened to the Canadian tire commercials and, you know, the feel-good commercials. Now we're being bombarded with gambling. And there's like five different gambling sites or something. It's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to pop that up. So am I just an old curmudgeon? Or do you guys think... We shouldn't have, there's no crying in baseball. There's no cheerleaders in hockey. And enough with this gambling stuff. Glamping, that's true, Sarah. Um, Diane, there is a term called glamping. Sarah's right, where it's glammed up camping, um, which I would like. Um, I used to go camping all the time. We used to take our kids camping, but they were in tents lying on the ground, nothing fancy. My son goes camping, but he has a truck with a, a thing that pops up on top. And oh my gosh, it's not quite roughing it <laughs> like we did as kids or he did when we were, when he was a kid. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Is that cool? I love it. Uh, let's see. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. The Esso commercial with Murray Westgate. I don't. I don't even know who Murray Westgate is. Diane, who's Murray Westgate? I do remember. Remember the Gillette commercials with Rocket Richard and it was two minutes for looking so good. Remember that? <laughs> I remember that one. Oh my God, I am old. Okay. <laughs> 
And I thank you, Kathy. Oh, look at us all agreeing. It's just a bad luck, isn't it, to have gambling? People struggle with so many things. And why are we encouraging them? And not only that, we're actually using past stars of the game and current stars of the game. Um, it's just a bad luck, like Connor McDavid and Austin Matthews. Like, I just think it's bad. It sends the wrong message to kids. That's my, okay, that's my thing for today. I will go off. I won't talk about it anymore. Okay, so we got our plate three or plate two, and we're going to cut a bug out of the black. And then our little bug has a bottom, little butt. We're going to cut that out of, I think that's crushed curry. And then I've got a piece of vellum for the wings. Where do you see this bug? It is so cute. Oh my gosh, this bug is so cute. Oops, I'm at a challenge myself here. Pull that out of titch. Put my, there we go. All right. Uh, the Cheerful Daisy set is amazing and a lovely paper too. Yes. You're looking forward to my class. Thanks, Jacqueline. I'm more looking forward to sending it to you. It's going to be, if I do say so myself, amazing. Why did I have to make so many Daisy cards, one might ask? Let me tell you. I have a class where we're going to make four cards. So I needed four cards for that. I have an in-person class. Um, I needed to make one for that because they make a variety of cards. So if you live in the uh, lower mainland of Vancouver, please join us at our live class on the 10th of June because we're going to make six cards and they're going to be six different product lines. Okay. And then I need six for my free PDF. So if you guys don't know, when you make a purchase in my store during, it'll be during May. I will send you a free tutorial with um, instructions for six cards using the Cheerful Daisies. If you don't live in Canada, um, or even if you do, and you don't want to make a purchase, I understand that. You might be a demonstrator yourself, or you might have your own demonstrator. You can um, purchase the PDF in my, my tutorial store. Can you guys see my little bug? I don't know if you can see my bug. Let me grab a scrap here. Can you see it a little bit better? So I've got my three bits here. Okay. So I'm going to start by gluing my bottom onto my bug. So I've got a bit of glue here and then I'm going to line up. Another reason I love my, oops, my white glue is because I don't have to commit. Like if it's not in the right place, I can move it around. There we go. So there's my bug with this yellow but because he's a lightning bug and then I want to add my wings so I'm going to just put some glue there I'm going to grab my wings and okay and I'll pick him up oh he's so cute look at him is he the cutest little bug and Diane who's on our call today loves Wink of Stella so we got to put some Wink of Stella on those wings so even though it's vellum Add some Wink of Stella. You might not be able to see it in person. Oh, let's put some Wink of Stella on the butt too. Because that'll be like a shining little bug. Isn't that cute? Okay. Let's add him to our project. Now, I think, let me just make sure. I'm not sure if I need... There we go. Let's see. Oh, no, that's too big. It's too big. That's okay. Crisis averted. We, You can cut your little, your dimensionals, of course, but we also sell little mini ones. So I'll use that on my bug. There we go. And then I can put one just here on his little bottom. And, okay. And then I'll move this off of here. I'll just let that set for a sec, okay, before I stick them on. Now, this is a black inside, and unless you have a white gel pen, it's going to be really hard for people to write inside. So I'm going to create an inside. just going to grab a piece of whisper white, oh, whisper white, basic white. Boy, you can't teach old dogs new tricks, right? Does anybody else still call it by its old name? I don't know. 
basic white. <laughs> so I want an inside, so I'm going to cut it four by five and a quarter. And that way we'll have a place to write a message to someone special or just someone who you want to inspire because the sayings in this set are really nice. Okay, so let's grab Night and Navy and let's grab uh, thank you. Thanks for lighting the way. One of my team members, Marjorie, sent me a lovely card a little while ago. Um, I showed it on my last video, I think. And um, she wrote a really lovely message and it was so nice to, to receive. So, you know, we sometimes forget the impact of what a handmade card can do, right? Now, in this case, I think I will use the big, the big Stampin' Bug. And let's just put a few on here. Okay. I think that looks good. So just something to decorate it, right? My sister, Ellie, who's on the call, she always puts an inside layer. And I'm trying to get be better at it. I think, Jacqueline, we've been around so much. It's hard. Like, sometimes it's just like your brain is, is what is it, muscle memory? Whisper white, right? Okay, so that's the inside. That's our outside. Let's grab our little bug. Let's take the backs off of our... Ooh, not only did I take the back off, I took the whole dimensional off. I think... I think my mini dimensionals, you guys, are old. Like... When I say old, I mean really old. And I think that's the problem is, there we go. How we'll just do our little bug. So our little bug is just flying towards the light because they can't help it. They can't help flying towards the light, lightning bugs, can they? Okay. Uh, all right. So that's the one we made today. I'm just making sure I haven't missed any comments. Now that's the one I did ahead of time. So one has the full cap on with the gold and one does not. I probably could have left the cap on and just had the upper part, right you guys? That might have been fine. And if I could find my cap inside my garbage can, I might put it back on. <laughs> anyway, it's always fun to experiment and see different ways to do things, right? All right, let me move all of my garbage out of the way so that's what we've got what do we like black just black sides or black sides and a black cap not sure oh thanks Kathy now let me show you some other cards made with this stamp set that are lovely can't show you the cards we're doing in our class but let me show you I showed you this one the other day I got this one in a swap now this is all done same way this is done with blending brushes and ink. So in this case, we've got the dark at the bottom and some light and then kind of um, dusk, I'd say, right? So again, really pretty, adorable. And this is um, the gold, I think, distressed paper, which really adds a nice, that would be nice too. Okay. And then we've got this one. Now, this one here, we haven't used the lantern, but I love it. This is a swap for my friend Leanne. This is, um, she's used the grass. We've got our little bugs here. Because can you see that the dyes cut out the bugs once they're stamped? So I love that. This here, these three stamps, or one stamp, stamped three times. This is from Hydrangea Haven. And Hydrangea Haven is retiring. But look how you can use that. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, follow your dreams. What a perfect stamp for a graduate, right? Love that. So those are a couple of the cards. And I think that's all I have to show you this morning. Let me just make sure that we've got these in. Okay, here we go. Come back here. All right. Uh, you do like the one with the black top. Thanks. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're both nice, I guess, right? 
All right, any other questions? Um, we're all in agreement about gambling. <laughs> I mean, nothing wrong with gambling, but just don't put it in sports. Um, I think I got everybody's comment. Melanie, I hope you enjoyed your first visit with us today. We're a nice little group that, that joined live. Um, if you can't join live, so if maybe you're watching this on a replay, please make sure you go jump over to my YouTube channel and I have tons of videos. I do two a week. <clears throat> I do one on Sundays at 10 and I do one on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So um, mark your calendars and uh, or watch the watch the uh, replay. Okay, I think I got everybody. Did I? I think I hopefully I said hi to everybody today. Okay, so I'll see you guys again on Wednesday at 3 p.m. And until then, I hope you have some creative time this week. I am pooped making my daisies, but I gotta say, once I started, the ideas really started coming. So um, it's a great set. So check it out in the new catalog. I think it's on page 111. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.